Hello everyone, welcome to part three of our DCS World Mission Editor uh, mission build of a uh, seed mission. And this is where we left off in part two. I'll put links to part one and part two in the uh, description of this video. So we have our targets in, we have our FARP in, FARP we built in video one and our targets we put in in video two, as well as a flight of Turkish F-16s that will be uh, available for us. So in video three, today's video, we're going to be doing triggers to manipulate these various uh, uh, units. The first trigger that I would like to build is one that actually starts the mission. OK, so let's go into the trigger menu. And I'll explain for those that may be completely new to what triggers are, the, these three panels, the left panel is, well, let me hit new first, uh, will be the type of trigger that you want, whether it's one that only activates one time, whether it's uh, one that only activates right at the start of the mission, or if it's one that's a switch condition or if it's a repetitive action. Uh, we're going to do uh, most of our triggers as just once only. I am going to do one today with a switch condition, and I'll explain that when we get to that. Repetitive action I've never used, but uh, I'm, I'm sure there's a, a good use for it. Um, the middle box is the condition. This is what has to happen before it triggers whatever action you put in on the right hand side. OK, so the first trigger we're going to build is a trigger to start the mission. So it's going to be a once only trigger. I'm just going to call it, label it, start mission. And I'm also going to put in here set flag to 71. This actually helps uh, helps me to. Uh, I, I like using flags, and those flags sometimes I use in other triggers. So uh, we are going to be using this flag. Uh, no event. We're not going to do anything on the uh, events. The condition. We're going to come all the way down here to. This x colon cockpit parameter equal to. And what we're going to put in is our left radio, the COM1 radio frequency. And when that frequency equals 271, it will do these actions. So under parameter, it's all capitals, C O M M 1 underscore F R E Q com one underscore freak the value for that will be 271 so when we set that channel to 271 on that com one radio these things are going to happen the first thing is I want to have it set that flag I said set so flag on 271 my next uh, action is going to be to activate my targets. So that will be group activate the Sanaki SA2 site. And I'll just clone that one. And when you clone it, it, it just gives you an exact copy of the one above it. But uh, I'm going to change the group to the SA-8 battery. So the flag's going to come on, and it's going to activate both of those targets. Now I want it to also send us a message. So the message will be message to coalition. And we're the blue coalition. And let's see if it'll work. I think I have this on the clipboard, so I'm going to Control-V here. 
And the message is going to be Dragonfly Warhorse, mission approved is briefed. Two Turkish F 16s, call sign Domino Flight, are available for assistance. Contact them on COM1 channel 272 if needed. And we'll leave that up for 20 seconds with no start delay. Actually, let's do about a three second start delay because I'm going to put in a sound that will key me to look up at the uh, message, an audio cue. And how I do that, we'll hit new. And there's a uh, action down here that says, uh, sound to coalition i believe is what it says yeah sound to coalition blue and i have a bunch of sound files that i've i've recorded on my own some of them i've gotten off the internet um, they're, they're really easy to record uh, off of a free windows program so i use uh, a, a windows program uh, windows 10 program called Audio Tonic, A-U-D-I-O-T-O-N-I-C, which I believe is the successor to Audacity, but it will it will do the type of formats you need for sound files in DCS world. Basically, those are .wav, .wav, or .ogg. Okay, so when I hit open here, uh, because I've used sound files before, it automatically points me to the uh, to where I have my sound files, where I've saved them. And uh, the one I like to use a lot is Dragonfly Warhorse, I'll copy. Okay. Dragonfly Warhorse, I'll copy. And you can test it to make sure it's the one you want. I'll hit OK, and it automatically populates that file. You can also play it over here if you want. Dragonfly Warhorse, I'll copy. And let's see, I'll move that one just up above the message. Just Okay, so those are the actions I want to happen when I put 271 in the radio. Okay, now my second trigger, I'll start a new trigger, will be to activate the F-16s, like uh, like it said in the message, if we want to activate those F-16s, uh, we need to contact uh, them on channel 272. All right. So for the label, I'll just put activate Turkish. F-16s, and that'll only be once. The condition, same type of condition we used in the last one, which is X colon parameter equal to capital C O M M one underscore F R E Q and the value for that one will be 272. Okay. Now I also I don't want those Turkish F 16s, I don't want us to be able to activate them unless we're on this particular mission. So I'm going to put another condition in there that they also have to. Uh, the flag 271 also has to be on, which was the flag that came on when we started this mission. So you can use flag is true, flag on, whatever, 271. So both of those conditions have to be true for whatever action we put in here to happen. And what we want to happen is we want to group activate domino flight, which is the Turkish F-16 flight. And uh, if you didn't watch uh, video, uh, the last video, uh, we did uh, on each of those groups mark 
the late activation tick mark on the uh, menu. I'll, I'll try to show you that here in just a second once I uh, get out of the trigger menus here. So that's what we want to happen. We want it to activate Domino Flight, and we want to know if he heard us. So let's uh, uh, have him send a message. Message to coalition, to the blue coalition, and we'll just say, Roger, Domino Flight Pushing. All right, and we'll leave that up for 20 seconds. And I'm also going to put an audio cue in there in the audio cue, sound to coalition, to the blue coalition, and I'm going to open incoming message. Incoming message. Incoming messages in there. And I'll move it up. Okay. All righty. And that activates the F 16s and they'll start their attack, their seed attack on the uh, targets. Okay. Well, before I go any farther, let me just show you. Uh, in this section of the uh, group menus for this is the SA2 uh, site, make sure you have the late activation ticked for that one. Also for the SA8 and also for the F-16 flight. All those need to be ticked because we activated them through the trigger menu. Okay, now the third trigger I want to do is, I, I wanna know when the F-16s get fired on by a missile. And so I'm going to use a trigger that basically says if there's, if there's a missile in, in a in a zone around Sanaki, it's going to play an audio cue that there was a SAM launch. Okay, so how we do that, first thing we do is we need to create a trigger zone. So if we come over here to this little symbol here where it says create trigger zone, hit that, and I'll just plop it down here right by Sanaki. You can see it automatically puts a radius on it, which uh, uh, that'll, that'll work fine. It encompasses all of our missiles, so that's that's fine. And this trigger zone will be called uh, Sanaki Sam Zone. And I'll make it red. And I'm actually just going to hide it because we really don't need to see that. Okay, so now that we have that trigger zone, come back over to our triggers, and for our third trigger, I'm gonna do a new one. And this one is going to be what we call switch condition. And what th this makes you able to reuse this trigger. Uh, it will basically reset the condition after every time the action goes off so that it, it can be used again. All right, and we're gonna call this uh, just SAM launch message. All righty, the condition will be missile in zone. There we go, missile in zone. The type of missile, we got to find an SA-2. That's kind of hard to find sometimes. Well, let's do the SA-8 first since it's right there. It's SA-8. 
So if there's an SA8 in the area, th this action will play in the uh, if it's in the Sanaki Sam zone. So that's the zone that we want, Sanaki Sam zone. Now I'm going to clone this condition because we need to put an SA2 in also. So missile in zone and the type missile will be an SA2. There we go, SA2 Victor 755. So if an SA2 or an SA8 are in this zone, this is going to happen. But right now, the way we have it configured, this is saying and, uh, that if you have to have an SA8 and an SA2, which it's not what we want, we want or. So we'll click on this top uh, condition and then hit this or. Now it's an SA8 or an SA2, then this action will happen. And we're just going to have it play. I'm not going to have it uh, um, put a message. I'm just going to have it to play a sound. Sound to Coalition Blue, open. SAM launch. SAM launch, SAM launch. Okay, so it kind of simulates if if you had a wingman or if uh, the F-16s uh, were calling out if uh, if they see a SAM. So it works pretty good. So let's, uh, well, our, that's our third cr uh, trigger. Okay, now the last, well, actually there's one more trigger after this, but this trigger is going to be if we have, is the mission success trigger. And it's only going to happen once, and so let's just call it mission success. Uh, set flag, I use 500 series, so let's just call it 501. Doesn't matter what flag you use. Okay, and for this mission to be successful, both the search radar for the SA-2 and the um, tracking radar have to be be dead. So let's go down here to unit dead. And the unit that we want dead is this Sanaki SA2 tracking radar. And I'm going to clone that. Oh, I didn't clone. Let's, let's, let's delete that one. Clone. And the SA2SR. Now you can see why I changed the names of those to, so I could be able to find them. So both of these have to be dead. It's not an or, it's an and. So if both of these are dead, then it's going to play a message. Well, it's first going to set a flag. Flag on 501 or whatever you'd like to use. And it's going to send a message. Uh, let's call it message to coalition blue. Um, Elint assets report SA two is off the air. Nice job. Or whatever you want to say. Now on this one, I'm going to put a start delay. <clears throat> Otherwise, just as soon as the, you bomb the things, it would come up and say that, which isn't super realistic. So I'm going to put like a 30 second delay. And so 30 seconds after you kill those two targets, it's going to come up and say that. And we'll leave that message up for 20 seconds. 
okay so while we're worrying about the uh, mission success let, let's uh, go over here to define mission goals in our menus and our mission goal we'll set a new one it's an in the name of it is uh, SA to SR and TR dead okay and the condition is that flag 501 is on so flag is true 501 and this is what will give us the uh, you know mission effectiveness score okay so those are done and I think that completes all our triggers for this video so we'll be flying this mission here uh, real soon and uh, hope you'll join me for that and uh, thanks for uh, being with me you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time dragonfly out